All right, so this morning I just wanted to talk about some things that I believe are holding people back from going to the gym. Um, they're basically myths, or not even myths, just things we create in our own head because we watch YouTube videos, we see all these buff, jacked up guys or girls, and we think that that's how it is at the gym. And uh, today I just want to shed a little bit of light onto the reality of what's going on at your local gym. Um, one thing that I want to say is that not everyone is beautiful at the gym. There's people from age 18 or even younger all the way up to their 70s and 80s. There's people who are just beginning in the gym and there's people who are very advanced and they are big. Um, but it's a mix. It's, it's actually this, the smallest percentage is big, buff, intimidating guys. I don't think that you know, because you're just starting out, all the buff dudes and, and the attractive women are going to sit there and, you know, whisper about how, how you look, okay? It's not hap It's just not happening. We're all members there. I would say that the greatest percentage of people there are out of shape. And, yeah, you can see some muscle definition. You can see them really squaring out. But good for them, okay? You should be proud of them. And eventually, they'll probably be proud of you, right? So, so take that into consideration. Something else I want to talk about is you don't have to go at 5.30 p.m. when everyone's there, okay? At my gym, well, it used to be like between 10 and 12, I could go there and have the weight room to myself. It was great. I loved it. This year, the new manager made some changes. He's instituted some classes that occur like right in that time block. He probably realized that that was a very empty time in the gym, so he put some classes there. But even so, I know that I could go from the gym from 1 to 3 p.m. and there's no one there. Now your gym might be different, okay? So you need to figure it out and you need to figure out your schedule too. If the only time your schedule allows you to go is between 5.30 and 6.30, then you got to suck it up. You got to work out with other people and you need to remember all the other things I just told you. Something else um, is that it takes forever to see results or so people think. It's totally not true. In fact, the best time I ever had working out is at the beginning. You see massive results very quickly. Um, in your first month, you could potentially, if you're focusing on your nutrition, you're focusing on your workouts and the intensity of them, focusing on your recovery and your rest, you could put on 20 pounds of lean muscle in the first month. Definitely in two months, you could put on 20 pounds of lean muscle. Okay, so give it a shot. Even if you fall up, sh fall short of that, you put on 10 pounds of lean muscle. That's insane. You're, you're thin. You're going to look way bigger than you are right now. So consider that. Even if you don't see immediate results in, in two, three months time, you're going to not recognize your old body. You'll have fallen in love with your new body. So Give it three months in the gym, go into the gym three times a week, four times a week. If you don't have 40 minutes three or four times a week to go to the gym, I think you're full of it, to be honest, okay? Just keeping it real. For me, right now, and eventually I'm going to put this up when I figure out how to do a screen share, I'm sure it's not that difficult, I'm putting on about 0.4 pounds a day. And my physique isn't really changing all that much um, as far as putting on a lot of mass, putting on a lot of fat. But 0.4 pounds a day, that's three and a half pounds a week of, of weight I'm putting on, okay? So that means, that means at the end of a month, I'm going to weigh nearly 14 pounds more than I did. And I'm still lean, all right? So consider this when you think about not going to the gym. The last thing I wanted to talk about uh, that might be demotivating you from going to the gym is the fact that you think people are going to look at you and think how weak you are. Um, let me be clear that I'm not confident in my squat. In fact, sometimes I have a little bit of uh, pain or popping in my, in my left knee. I don't know why, but squats are extremely important to a workout, and I just started doing them within the last five months. Today, I had two beautiful women on either side of me. I didn't care. It was leg day. I was getting in there. I was doing my squats. I did 135 pounds on squats. And for those of you who don't know, that's nothing. It's like 
humiliating, okay? But I did it because it's leg day and I'm going in there to do legs and I don't care who's watching, all right? And the other thing is people aren't going to judge you because you're in there working out. They're going to respect you for that, okay? Now, there's people all around you that have been going to the gym for their whole life or at least for a couple months. You can ask these people for tips. They're, they're, they'll be excited to give you pointers, okay? They'll be excited to watch your form and help guide you. Maybe not for an hour, but for three, five minutes just to kind of get the ball rolling for you. Give them a chance. They'll give you a chance. They'll hear you out, and they're happy to talk about something that they're knowledgeable about. We all are. These are just some things that I've observed uh, that go through my own mind. So if they're going through my mind, they must be going through other people's minds as well. And if you're an ectomorph, you're in a perfect position to start working out. So get out there and hit the weight room and ask people around you for some tips, okay? Um, follow me on Instagram, ifrankyv. Uh, I added a link to the uh, description and uh, I hope this helps someone out there. And thank you for watching.